Hey, hey, people, we're back with some more Nova Drift. Let's go. I didn't even know what I want to try to spec into around this time. Hmm. I have to think on that. Could try going for Salvo. I haven't done that in a bit. I also have an, an idea for the grenade launcher where I just shoot one really big grenade or go minigun grenades, essentially. So I think I want to try going for minigun grenades. It is not going to work well, mind you. But minigun grenades. None of these are good options for me. Honestly, just gonna take Firefly for the self-damage resistance. Magnitude, always nice to pick up early. While I was offline, I did have a few decent runs that were very interesting. Tried out one of the new super mods. And ended up pulling off a successful railgun build for the first time. So that was pretty fun. Now that drones have been updated, I've been thinking of a bunch of changes and stuff for, like, a bunch of the other upgrades that don't really do anything. Like, that's sort of what a lot of the drone upgrades did, or the drone changes did. They just kind of removed the upgrades that were useless and replaced them with something else. Or just straight up overpowered in the case of rocket drones. I want the fire right pool. Where's the fire right pool? Give it! There we go. I know that this splinter shot hurt my fire rate a bit, but it is too good on grenade to give up. Alright. First fire? Sure. I don't want siege weaponry just yet. I want to start scaling up my hold first. Hey, welcome into Johnny. Or a John D. What's this game about? This is Nova Drift. It's sort of like the arena survival. It's sort of like Vampire Survivors or like along the lines of that genre before Vampire Survivors was a thing. Like this has been out for ages. Um, Like just infinite survival scale up your character with ridiculous stuff but this one's kind of difficult it has a weird control scheme and uh, pretty interesting upgrades it's hard in general you also get to aim your own weapon there's not a ton of similarities but there's enough with like the basic level up system and stuff more or less my goal is just to survive as long as possible siege weaponry uh yeah Every upgrade is relatively interesting. Some of them are just kind of basic, though. Extra blast radius, yes, please. Let me skip this soundtrack real quick. I do not want vocals in my quote-unquote instrumental music. Payload would be good normally for grenades, but I'm trying to go rapid fire. So it's not a great idea right now. Okay, this isn't going to work until I manage to pick up Barrage. Focus fire and burst fire, so I need to get extra projectiles before I can suck into it. So, Siege Weapon really did nothing for me as an upgrade. What? What is with this... with Pretzel Rocks and thinking that this music is instrumental? Sorry about the constant alt tabbing, but 
If I stop it now, it's not gonna pop up later. Nova Drift is just kind of a hard game to describe, but it's, it's just good. Like, if you even mildly enjoy roguelikes and you can get past the learning curve of the friction-based, like, drifty space movement, it, it, it is very good. Okay. Absorption, always want to take that. Flat damage resistance. How hard is this compared to other roguelikes? Um... It depends. How much... Like, what roguelikes are we talking about? Because Nova Drift is pretty unique. It's a one-of-a-kind game. I would say it is a pretty difficult game. There is a lot of learning to do early on. Way 40 boss incoming. Like, the hardest thing to do in this game is just the basic movement, if I'm being honest. Once you get the movement down, you just really have to start reading the upgrades and pick what you think will be the best. That and learning the enemy patterns helps too. Because, for example, with the control scheme, I can only move in one direction. This game looks cool. You might get get it after you finish getting over it. Oh. Then, <laughs> well, if you're fine with janky movement, <laughs> it's a game for you. I think it's on. I think it's like 15 bucks. Not sure if it goes on sale though. It might be worth waiting for the October sale to see if it goes down. It's a very arcade experience, too. Like, you're not going to put a bunch of hours into it right away. You're just going to end up playing it a bit. Or at least this is from my experience. Trying to get the 50 wins achievement. Oh my god. Freaking mad lad. Um, the game's, like, very arcade -y. I'm... For me, anyway, like, I didn't end up putting a bunch of consecutive hours into it, but I played a bunch over time. 41 wins so far. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you being held captive? <laughs> You don't know. Uh, mildly concerning answer, but okay. Oh no. Fire rate is still kind of hurting me a bit here. Once I get barrage unlocked, we should be good. I guess I'll grab mastery, just a general stat up for my weapons, nice. Roll that. Hopefully, I get. No, I'm not getting the thing I need. I will take force armor. More just base survivability is gonna help me well survive longer. Especially since I'm doing good damage right now. I don't really need to scale it up too badly. There, focus fire. We can unlock barrage next time we see it. And we're not going to stop hearing grenades for a very long time. Yeah, we are doing very good damage right now. Yep. You're not supposed to walk into the comments. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know that, though. Take stabilization, which is kind of nice. 
gives me the ability to thrust backwards at a very small amount of power. And gives me a bit of passive thrust increase too. Really nice thing about this body is that I can just kind of go near smaller enemies and I die because my thrusters cause a small amount of burning damage. Now and they start with a base thrust increase and a lot of things like to reduce your thrust. Still no barrage mod. Now let's get more burst fire. Wave 60. This might get a bit sketchy. Then again, our damage is very good. And we have pretty decent survivability too. Uh, have you played Getting Over It? You should play it. It's amazing. Sorry, I, I'm getting to things delayed. This is pretty focus intensive. But uh, I've played it on my older brother's computer like twice. But it is very much a game not for me. I, I'd rather spend my money on something I'd, I'd enjoy, I'm gonna be honest. Maybe once I get real big, I can make it like a sub goal or something. Not necessarily real big, just maybe as a hundred follows or like get into 30 sub goal or something, I'd grab it. I do not want to shoot the front of that guy. Barrage? Barrage. Oh my god. The mini gun grenades are real. I'm it's great that that works. Okay, almost killed myself with my shots though. Gotta let myself regen. few levels of uh, extra regeneration wild mod would be very good here. Whew. None of these mods are actually that great for me. Uh, at least I have rerolls. Let's try to calibrate. Saturation fire. Instead of calibrating over time, your weapon calibrates as siege weaponry ramps up. Okay. How does that work? Wave 65. This is so cursed. I never thought I'd see the day I get a freaking automatic grenade build working. Why is it actually good, though? <laughs> Love how ridiculous you can get in this. Should definitely try to get some, like, rotation speed or something. So that I can hit more of my shots. I know that that was an option earlier. I'm tempted to grab Defiance because self damage resistance is good. I have Siege Weaponry, which ramps up fire the more my fire rate, the more I'm shooting consecutively, but makes me deal self damage. Uh, I think I'm just gonna hit that with the reroll. Power reserves is good. I'm not gonna be experiencing as much of a movement downgrade for my weapons.
don't even have to shoot these weird worm dudes and squid boys. Wave 80. to me kind sir that was very spicy i think that's the first time i really managed to dodge well through that attack need to find a wild mod called hyper metabolism though desperately i don't think charge shot will do anything for me other than maybe force my fire rate to get reduced I guess I'll get slight homing, but that's as much homing as I'm going to want to get because my projectile has already moved too slow. I suppose it'll affect my splintering projectiles more than my main ones. Ah, there was a shield drone. Couldn't see it through all the blue clusters. Another burst fire is going to essentially make me take less hold damage from siege weaponry, so that it's very worth picking up. It means I can fire an extra time before siege weaponry actually takes effect. to think about what else I want to even spec into at this point. So like I'm a pretty high level if I try to spec into like drones or something that's just gonna end up being a bad idea. I suppose efficiency is good to pick up. Just not having to deal with or not having to deal with something that that's not how this works. Just not having to wait nearly as long between firing larger bursts of grenades is gonna be pretty useful. Wave 100. Okay, our damage has fallen off a bit. I mean, to be fair, it is mostly AoE damage, but still. Yeah, like anything that's multi-segmented just gets shredded pretty much instantly. I did get him about halfway down in one phase, though, so... I say we did a good job. Just gotta try to not get bashed into him at that stage. Just not get railgunned. That'd be very nice. Things are getting a bit spicy. you put a dent in my spaceship. I expect you to pay my insurance fee in full. Or you could just give me your soul. That'd work, too.
Yeah, we're definitely gonna end up getting killed by some, like, elite boss enemy later on. I, I love just being able to constantly fire grenades, though. This is a good... If I feather it, I don't even take, like, any hull damage. I mean, my weapons aren't getting as powerful, but I'm not taking hull damage for clearing out basic trash, which works. First time I've seen that happen. Unless it happened in one of the other recordings and I just didn't notice. Uh, do I play other roguelikes? Uh, I try to almost specialize into them to some degree. I actually have a community going running right now to do a roguelike roulette stream, but yeah, I, I really enjoy roguelikes. Chances are, if you name a roguelike, I probably know what it is, as long as it's not like a turn-based strategy. I'm completely clueless in that genre. I think I'm going to spec into the skirmish tree. Targets taking more damage their first hit, or targets that are still slightly alive just die, you're gonna be very nice for crowd control. And for boss killing in general. They're just nice upgrades, alright. Biggest disadvantage I have this run, not being able to see enemy projectiles. What's my favorite roguelike? That, that's a really hard one. It's probably between Nova Drift and Synthetic Legion Rising. Synthetic just has really good progression and skill, and just the gameplay in general is very well done. And Nova Drift has pretty good gameplay and a really fun upgrade tree mechanic. Synthetic was also another game that was pretty criminally underrated as well. I played stuff like Hades, but most- and, um, what else? I played Rogue Legacy 1 as well, but they were just kind of underwhelming. This guy's gonna suck. Mine Anoidia, Spelunky 1. And two, and Risk of Rain two. Ooh, those are good choices. I've been meaning to try out Spelunky two sometime, but Insta Death just doesn't sit too too well with me. Risk of Rain two is great as well, but it's an awful game for me to stream. At least not without like multiple people in the lobby, which I don't actually have. Have you played Spelunky one? I have not. Spelunky 2 just seems better in every respect, though, so... That one's more appealing to me. If you haven't played the first one, you won't enjoy the second one. Alright. Yeah. Plat platformers are, like, my worst enemy in general. It just seems like a very well-put-together game. Watched a ton of it on YouTube. Second one is five times harder, oh god.
Yeah, Spelunky's always seemed like a game that has a crazy high learning curve to me, but seems very worth it to actually learn it. I will grab an Orb of Discord, just gonna give me some passive damage kind of floating around my ship. Yeah, multi-segmented bosses just kind of get instantly killed by this. It's enemies that are only one piece that are gonna be pain. He freaking loves Spelunky. <laughs> Welcome in, Shango. Let me give you a shout out. Also, I swear I pronounce that differently every time you come in here. And Twitch isn't letting me at you easily. Also, hello. Hope your day's going well. It's going pretty decent. Hmm. I've been glad to see the dead cells have been really popping off for you. Bought by those orbitals. Hmm. I need to try an annihilation mode in this game just for the memes, but I know it's gonna make me just save the game for a little bit. I guess I just want to be Annihilation mode once just to say that I did it. Because at this point I'm starting to get into the million score-wise for the normal difficulty of the game. Got your 42nd win. Eight wins left. Good luck. I honestly can't imagine beating, getting over it once, much less beating it freaking 50 times. Okay. Tempted to take Juggernaut just for the survivability, but I think I'm going to hit us with a reroll here. Terminate, very nice. Enemies at 12% of their maximum hull are destroyed by any damage. It's really nice and tankier bosses, and extra rate of fire, which is always good to have. My best time is 8 minutes, but it usually takes 10 to 20. Jesus. How many hours do you have in that game? I need to search up what the world record is on on getting over it after this. That'd just be interesting to see. Too many for your own good. Honestly, any hours in that game would be too many for your own good, but hey, as long as you're having fun. can't tell what's going on. The RGB explosions. <laughs> and the power-up wore off, okay. One minute and one second. What the hell, people? Why? <laughs> That's seriously the world record. Why? What about the 100%ing the game speedrun? <laughs> or all achievements? God, that'd be so awful.
Enemies are starting to attack faster. Oh boy. Oh, that that's that's a lot of orange juice projectiles. I don't know what else to call those. I not. Huh. Screw it, more double tap. More projectiles. You've gotta get to work shortly, but you're gonna lurk in the second monitor because this game is pretty. Have a good stream. Ah, thanks a ton for stopping by, my guy. <laughs> that was a really embarrassing death, all right then. Didn't even get on my leaderboard. What, what build do we want to do next? I might go for a shotgun and then turn it into a rifle, if it gives me the option. Oh no, you got caught. <laughs> nah, let's try to do another railgun build. Pretty unfortunate starter wave for that. Okay. What what body do we even want? I think I want assault. Just cause faster rate of fire and a weapon that is naturally pretty slow. Wait. This they rebalanced this. When you fire your weapon, it has an 8% chance of being empowered. Guessing that's just better damage. You didn't find a speedrun, but you found a video of somebody trying to get 100% getting over it, getting a refund, aka beating it under 2 hours, yeah. 15% resistance to mobility, reducing effects from your weaponry. So Assault is actually a body worth taking now. Before it used to just be t plus 10% rate of fire for minus 10% maximum shields. Let's check real quick to see if anything else has been changed in this immediate menu. I still need to try to do a Leviathan build, but today is not that day. Try to take this guy's ad out first. It's more dangerous than he is, honestly. Okay. Weapon projectile velocity is going to be good for right away. Uh, let's see. Damage scales with projectile velocity. So I'm guessing that this is more like at least 15% uh, damage up, if not just straight up 25% damage up. That and faster projectile means easier to aim at the moment. Uh, Railguns always have a slow start. I have to take it. I've never had a run where Twin Strike was good. It gives me a regen penalty, but gives me an extra projectile. Reroll, try to get some homing. The more of my projectiles that actually hit the target, the better. Okay. Let's grab guidance and then we can start stacking off up into a bit of survivability.
We should definitely try to go for the thrust mod because having projectile screen wrap would be very good. Didn't get the option for it immediately, but I guess I'm just going to reroll once. Convergence, why not? Okay, let's reroll. Snipe's very good, but I'm looking for something else. But they're not going to give it to me, so I guess I'm picking Snipe anyway. Eh. Still not an option, unfortunately. I will take Burst Fire. It's very nice. And we have a high enough fire rate, so it doesn't really punish us too, too badly. I will gladly grab some better regeneration. There, Magnitude, that's a mod I was looking for. There's one more mod tree I want to open up, and then we should be good for a bit. Nope. I am going to need that self-damage resistance, so I suppose it's not too much of a loss to grab that. This, this weapon's awful for dealing with this dude. My shield's probably doing most of the work, if I'm being honest. A little radius around me does damage. Okay, I need payload because I plan to get the antimatter rounds mod. Not sure about Singular Strike. Way 40, boss. Well, we're doing very good damage. Doing like 500 damage a hit when I'm hitting the weak spot. Dang. Much one phase one's nice. Uh, the middle of the screen is very purple. Okay. I'm gonna grab this because it will unlock blink and blink. Um well you'll see. Hopefully. Hopefully it won't die miserably before then. I have plans for this run. This is a bad encounter for us. Should still get out of it alive, though. Um, I regen so bad. I'm gonna reroll. Guess I'll grab hyper. <laughs> no, I really shouldn't. Uh, I'll grab efficiency. And charge shot. Now I can charge up my shot, and it gives it extra projectiles the longer I'm charging it, and just better damage in general. I'm not liking any of these upgrades. I think I'll wait till I get a reroll. Oh, that, that was very bad sound effect stacking, jeez. Damn. 
5,000 damage in that poor little dude. This build is hopefully going for it the proper the proper way of life in this type of game. Big number funny. I'm just gonna spend the upgrade. Not super happy about that, but whatever. Now the longer we don't fire our weapon, the more powerful it gets, which will just be kind of nice in general. Also seems to tighten the spread. There's Blink. We're gonna be able to have fun soon. If the game offers the bond to us, that is. Goodness, that damage though. Ah, uh, being a glass cannon works, I suppose. It did not give us the funny mod. Okay. I actually need to pick up Juggernaut next time I see it too. There's still a lot of stuff we need. And we're level 23, which isn't great, but <laughs> that damage, though. Ricochet. When your projectile would normally be destroyed, it ricochets to another target. I have to. It reduces the amount of projectiles that I get, but that just sounds too fun. It's a shame these projectiles are so powerful they're just penetrating straight through the enemies. So that's not actually triggering. Well, triggered once there. something to pop on screen before I level up. Don't want to waste this fully charged shot. They're just sending a ton of landmines at us, which is kind of annoying. I need to grab that whole strength. I am extremely fragile. Just waiting for something to actually spawn in. So that I can shoot it. Love you get on screen now. <laughs> Railgun's really starting to live up to its name. Here we go. Here's the funny mod. <laughs> Your projectiles can screen wrap once. Oh, no. That was very unlucky. And I am very close to death. <laughs> so now even if my projectiles penetrate the enemy... They'll still come back to haunt them, or haunt their friends at the very least. This 
so good. Okay, let's reroll that once. Grab rapid reconstruction. Have to worry about our hole slightly less now. Well, at least I have better regeneration speed. Honestly, screw it. I kind of need more projectile spread, if I'm being honest. <laughs> oh, come on. That's not very nice of you. Okay, Juggernaut. We now have the option to get other funny mobs. Which will be even better. The one I'm going for in particular makes me take damage every time I shoot a projectile, but uh, those projectiles do a ridiculous amount of damage and gain extra explosion radius. Yeah. Your weapon behaves as... No, that's not the mod I was thinking of. I want antimatter rounds, not singular strike. What's the requirements for antimatter rounds? Uh, payload plus concentrated blast. Okay. Well, that sucks. So I need to find the blast radius tree and start specking into that. Honestly, more projectiles, though. Almost at wave 100. Did 15,000 damage to one of the poor little dudes. And here we are, wave 100, and we get to see the new boss. Not for very long, though. Holy cow. I knew I was charging that shot for long, but damn. Ah. Got stuck in the corner of the screen, dang. Alright, how long have I been going? I think I'm gonna rape somebody now. Let's see who's live. All right, let's raid Generico. He has really high quality streams. Y'all should follow him if he sounds fun to you. Let me just get that loaded up. Thanks a ton for stopping by everybody and see you later on the YouTube side of things as well.